Hey guys, it's Thomas. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be going in depth on the HoloLens 2, specifically in the battery life. This is the first video in a series where I'm going to be going in depth on a bunch of different features on the HoloLens 2. Let's get into it. Microsoft claims a three hour battery life on the HoloLens 2. In order to prove this, I've come up with a plan. My plan includes testing the HoloLens 2 while performing three different tasks. Each task will be timed from the start of that task until the battery drains to zero. The first task that I'll be performing on the HoloLens 2 is watching instructional videos. This task will demonstrate how one user may possibly use the HoloLens 2 to educate themselves or others in a field application as Microsoft demonstrates with Dynamics 365. They show in Dynamics 365 how you can use the HoloLens 2 to show how to do things like plumbing or how to operate machinery. Unfortunately, I do not have access to Dynamics 365, so I'll be substituting that with YouTube. This will give me a similar experience by watching a video while performing a task. The second task I'll be performing on the HoloLens 2 is 3D modeling. This task demonstrates how I and many others use the HoloLens 2 to view 3D models in reality and see how they will apply to the real world. The third and final task I will be performing on the HoloLens 2 is in a medical scenario. Although I cannot physically be in a medical scenario, I can simulate one using apps like HoloPatient and Coronavirus Explorer. This task will simulate how a medical professional may use the HoloLens 2. Fast forwarding many hours, I finally am able to show you the results from the tests. My initial hypothesis was that the Dynamics 365 test was going to last the longest as there's not that many complex things that the computer in the HoloLens has to figure out, but it actually performed the worst. That test uh, for one third of the battery was 46 minutes. And if you were to do that same Dynamics 365 for the entire battery life, that would mean that you would get two hours and 18 minutes out of the HoloLens 2, which is interesting because the 3D modeling and the hollow patient tied for the exact same numbers. So for one third of the battery life for both the 3D modeling and the hollow patient, that would give you 54 minutes. And if you were to do the entire battery of just 3D modeling or just hollow patient, that would give you two hours and 42 minutes of battery life. And that is within what Microsoft says that you will get from the HoloLens 2. So this is a very reasonable claim that they have on their website from two to three hours. Make sure you check out some of the other videos in this series. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video and see you in the next one.